looking forward to it. 29th of June, so in about a month. So you can go to Ido's website, www.nurparatodos.com.ar and reserve your ticket. Okay? And I have to thank Ido for inviting me. He told me that he thinks that my work deserves a little bit more attention, so that's why he invited me to this event. So thank you very much, Ido, brother. I'll see you there. Looking forward to it. So moving on here to the next item, the Amsterdam conference. So I've been invited to participate, to speak for an hour. Let's take a look at the website. So here it is, the Flat Earth Convention in Amsterdam. You can get your tickets here. And it's related to the Globe Light Convention as well in Kidderminster. Okay. So the speakers in Amsterdam will be Ian Leahy, doesn't have his biography on yet, Karen B, whom I had the pleasure of talking to, and here, okay, the link takes us to the Flat Earth Convention YouTube channel, I'm gonna subscribe. So there's different things going on here. Okay, the convention. This is what happens when I clicked. So I clicked on Karen's link here. I'm not getting her biography when I click on her. I'm gonna tell Didi about it. Iru. Here he is. More than 20 years as a director of visual effects and visual communicator. Worked for different companies and different projects. Big companies like History Channel, UNESCO, and Ido told me that it was while working on a piece for History Channel, they had to create a globe. And he realized that images of Earth from space were all created in 3D software. He started looking into it. So he indeed has an extensive knowledge and techniques of CGI. And Ido has done some amazing work. Looking forward to it. I'm gonna watch his presentation, which is here. Who else? Zach, Dr. Zach has made some great work with the math of the globe model and the flat earth model, proving also that the ISS is not at the distance that they say it is, the one that you can actually see, because you can see something flying in the sky, but it doesn't fly at the speeds it's supposed to fly. And he has shown this with mathematics. So Zach. Open mic with Patricia Steer. And I'm looking forward to meet Patricia. I've talked to her a couple of times in her show. It's been great. I was watching them last night. She's a vegan, a conspiracy realist, a cat lover. Patricia's work talking to different people in the flat earth and keeping up with the events is pretty cool. I love watching her and talking to her. Sometimes we chat and it's always great. Looking forward to meeting her in person. And here's a link to her channel. Martin Liedke from Flat Earth British. I've heard of him, don't know him. From my friend, Mike Wilkerson. Talks a lot about Flat Earth British because he's looking into Tartaria and mud floods as well. Is one of the subjects that I'm looking into with my friend Mike. We're gonna have some videos about that soon. Here we see alternative histories, mud floods, resets, star forts, and so on. So looking forward to this. It's gonna be comedy with him. And I'm gonna be checking out his channel before the event, of course. I haven't yet done so. Sunday. We have Jaron from Globebusters. He's done a ton of work, very good work. And he's involved in many things and everybody on the Flat Earth Movement knows who Jaron is. His tweets are here, cool. 
and this is a link to a video I think is not working for whatever reason cool Roxanne she was introduced to me by Paul on the plane I've taken a look at some of her audio she had a debate with people in Oxford and sent me a file to restore and I managed to kind of get it a little better but not so sure is very useful right now she's been very active she was targeted by the people in the guardian as somebody who joined fly earth because of trauma is another stereotype that we see tossed at flat earthers that people become flat earthers because they get a cozy feeling from people who think alike and they had trauma before so it feels good nothing to do with the evidence for it whatsoever as if you don't have people with issues going into different directions to like painting or cooking as a therapy so really nonsense arguments that are thrown at people in flat earth she's been attacked and I made a video about the Guardian's piece talking about her and others and this video got me a copyright strike on my channel because the Guardian doesn't like people making comments about their work and I had to redo the video and take out anything they said so I could have my analysis out there and that video is here this is the video I ended up Hello with Buddy. Making. Their minds they must be insane. They must be crazy. They must have mental illnesses, which you're gonna see as part of the subtext of this. So this is that. This is that video that I made. So you see here, I had to use this comic effect to mask <laughs> some of the images and zoom in really hard as well, and to cut anything they said so that they wouldn't flag it because YouTube has this algorithm to catch audio and compare to audio in other videos in order to collect copyright money. And even though in this case, this is an analysis, most of the video is me speaking and still any 10 seconds, they can grab it and say that you're infringing a copyright, which is wrong, actually you're not. You can very much cite them and listen to what they're saying and then comment as long as he's not reproducing their video in its entirety and Roxanne is very active in the UK scene she goes to the speaker's corner and approaches people so she's an activist looking forward to meeting her as well Paul on the plane has been one of the best people for me in this whole story in my whole trajectory has taken me seriously from the beginning has been one of the first people I've interviewed in his car which was pretty epic haven't put that out yet it was one of my first conversations with anyone whose work I really respected I had seen him in the Globusters program talking about the moon landings and saw his Faking Space series which was pretty amazing because it was to the point didn't waste your time and dealt with a lot of information I have been in Paul's program several times I need to actually keep tally of it it's five or six times already this also happened with Iru Iru's live streams I've been there I think four times three or four times and they have been very open and interested in my take so Paul is incredible and looking forward to meeting with him we found out talking that we lived in the same city in Salt Lake City at the same time at some point <laughs> which is pretty odd here you have a link to Paul's website his YouTube channel he has a podcast Dome Life and he also is a host in Truth Frequency Radio I've been a few times with him and Noxy, awesome guy. So here is Paul's website. Lots of stuff. Amazing. Looking forward to meeting with Paul. Allegedly Dave. Also looking forward to meeting and talking to Dave. This is one of his most famous 
appearances very early in the Flat Earth movement. He was already on TV here, I think it is. Macedonian TV, I think it is, actually. And in this video, he makes many points for the Flat Earth. According to Dave's caption here, it was aired to 11 million people across the former Yugoslavian countries. So really looking forward to seeing, talking to Dave. I think he had some issues with some of my videos about him. I made a couple of videos actually putting him in a very positive light. But I guess I made some mistake somewhere and he corrected me. So I'm looking forward to having a good conversation with him in the conference in Amsterdam. And here I am. It's a photo of me in Walza. And I have a little biography here. Social and cultural anthropologist, classicist, meaning I read ancient Latin fluently and constantly, which is part of the current work I'm doing as well. Always loved ancient literature and Latin, learned a lot by looking into it, continue to learn. I'm also from Brazil, Sao Paulo, Brazil. I started at the University of Utah, Salt Lake City. I moved out of there to the University of British Columbia because the anthropology at the University of Utah was very much evolutionary biology based and directed, and I almost gave up with anthropology there. But at the University of British Columbia, things are absolutely different. I found an amazing supervisor, Bruce Miller there, and other people. A great bunch of people spend a lot of time there. Then I moved to Scotland, where I conducted my PhD study in the Shetland Islands, which is another work that I have to get on with now, making a video about all the footage I collected over two years there which is an incredible amount of stuff. It's kind of mind boggling, but I have to go back into it. You know, I'm gonna have to manage it somehow. And here it just talks a little bit about my academic studies, ancient philosophy, something I'm very interested in, looking at Vedic traditions right now, all sorts of <laughs> stories from the ancient past, ancient science and religion, current science and religion, the anthropology of science, of course, Latin language, as I mentioned. Ecological anthropology, you can talk about what that is. It's basically a kind of approach to talking about the world that incorporates perception in the environment and connections between all sorts of elements that we encounter from objects to animals and other phenomena. Indigenous ways of knowing, which is what I'm gonna be talking about in Barcelona and the critiques of mainstream evolutionary biology and physics. This is really core to the notion of theory and anthropology, which we'll be discussing in Amsterdam. We'll be talking about my academic trajectory and how I came up with the decision to look into flat earth as an academic and globe skepticism now. Colonialism, of course, is the basic understanding that History that we get from governments and official sources are fake and not real histories. And anthropology has really looked deep into how histories are misconstructed in the creation of nationalism. And development is another kind of scheme for molding people into a particular shape and serving the system. And my PhD was on music and community and life and of course much more than that. Music community in life where I was was a core of something much greater, or at least it could be looked into as this bundle of connections that come together into this world of musicians who know all sorts of other people. Everybody would know a musician where I was in Shetland and how from those connections you can look into the entire world. You actually had connections from a small island to the entire world, literally and the importance of resonance and gratitude and what some people call polymathy which is doing many different things or knowing about many different subjects and i connect chess with music for instance 
and how that is how humans are. We are supposed to look and be able to deal with many different skills and be able to apply them and not to be just simple-minded specialists. And I've been talking against specialization since my early years in undergraduate at UBC. So my presentation in Amsterdam is going to be about my trajectory into this world of alternative cosmologies, alternative histories. And here we have my YouTube channel, playlists, and so on. And the Globali Euro Tour is the other group that's going to be speaking. Here, I don't know them. But here they are, Jason Disbury and Daryl Marble. I've talked a little bit about Daryl Marble, his appearance in Behind the Curve. But I haven't met him. Looking forward to talking to him. He has a lot of work. So of all people here, I have the smallest channel. And I talked to Gary and Diddy. Really looking forward to meeting them. We're going to play some music also at the campfire. Me and Louisa. There's some attending guests here, Robbie Davidson, I've talked to for a conversation that hasn't been published yet. Dave Marsh, I think, has appeared in some of my premieres. Looking forward to meeting him. Adam Meekin, don't know him. Mark Devlin and Robin Campbell is a friend of Roxanne's and they have a podcast together, a show quite active as well really cool so this is gonna be a great event looking forward to this and looking forward to continuing to look into some of this space stuff and now we're gonna look into how I've edited why I've edited the way I edited the video parody which features Brazilian music with the lyrics transform to target astronauts Let's take a look. Mm -hmm. 